Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to run multiple OBS studios at the same time. And as far as I know, this will only work on Windows. So if you want to try it on Mac or Linux, it will not work. So if you have Windows PC and you want to run multiple OBS studios, then you have come to the right place, my friend. Yes. <laughs> So you can see I have three OBS Studios shortcuts here uh, named differently, but you got the point here. So right now I use only three OBS Studios because I need only three. But if I want thousands of OBS Studios, I can use thousands of OBS Studios. So basically you can run unlimited amount of OBS Studios at the same time on your PC. So let me show you here two of them that I'm using right now. First one is webcam. Uh, you can see there is the webcam name and I capture webcam using a different OBS and this is desktop and this is like two, B two OBS studios whenever I'm recording. Uh, I'll show you, don't worry, I will show you how I did it, okay? <laughs> Uh, let me show you around so third one is obs game uh, you can see i have opened this these two here and uh, let's say i want to stream a game uh, this is for my game streaming so i'm gonna open that and you will see that this opens actually uh, where are the other ones and if i open minecraft that's what i'm streaming these days um you will see this OBS Studio captures the Minecraft because this is just made for, uh, you know, streaming only. So I do Minecraft streaming. So if you want to watch me play Minecraft, then you can go to my gaming channel and yeah, watch me there. <laughs> so here you can see we have three OBS Studios working and let's say uh, these are not enough. You want the fourth one basically now we are getting the uh, getting into the tutorial so follow me so first of all go to the obs studios website i will put link in the description you can go there and visit here once you visit here don't click on one of these links click on download at the top right hand side and it will take you to here and you'll need to download a zip so if you want to get a 32-bit version of OBS Studio, you can get it. It's okay, but 64-bit one will be, which will say download zip. Just click on that and it will download the OBS Studio zip file. This is not an installer. This is a portable version of OBS Studio, but it does not work the way you think. Even if it is portable, it will still open the same instance as we have opened like the main OBS studio this one if I open the OBS studio that I got right now it will open this OBS studio because we haven't done any settings yet so go to your downloads folder actually I have downloaded it already so let me grab it to desktop now I need to unzip it let's go and this is the OBS Studio we got. Let's name it OBS 5. Uh, OBS 4 actually. This is the fourth one. 4. And uh, go inside the bin, inside 64-bit folder and scroll and you'll find OBS 64.exe. Uh, if you want, you can run the OBS Studio from here, but create a desktop shortcut. Oh, where is it? Come on, yeah. Send to desktop, and you can see this is the fourth OBS Studio which if we want to use. So OBS four. You don't have to name it. You know when you are using a multiple OBS Studios, obviously you wanna name it to remember which OBS you want to use. So that's why I'm just naming them. That's why I have named them this way. So once you got your OBS Studios shortcut, and make sure that you keep the folder wherever you want it doesn't even matter okay so you can see i have two obs studios one obs game folder is actually here so wherever you put the folder it doesn't matter now right click on the obs studios 
shortcut and you see target and you see this OBS studio something like that just right click properties and you will see this so now you need to edit the target what you need to do is if you see columns just delete them and after that one space and double dash okay and uh, type for table yeah type that and apply uh, if it does say something like that then you need to put the those you know columns or comma whatever you say back there uh, okay then hit apply and it should just say nothing so hit ok now i'm gonna open my fourth obs studio just like that and you will see this is a fresh new obs studio and it is asking for the setup you know all that so i can do whatever i want like display capture something like that so this is a example so yeah that's it that's how you can run multiple obs studios so same thing goes for the other like you just need to make sure that you have a different folder for the different obs studios so you can see obs game obs 4 and let me show you the webcam one um yeah you can see this is webcam one and this is what i use for webcam so basically you need to put you need to have a different full folder of obs studio and then create a shortcut so you can see in webcam portable same thing just do the same thing and uh, it will just work uh, this is the original one uh, which we installed and there is no portable or anything like that and this one is game one just do the same thing it will open the different obs studio and uh, let's say this is not enough okay you you want more obs studio like fifth one so same do the same thing extract download the obs studio zip one and extract it just like that name it whatever you want obs 5 yeah this is the fifth obs studio <laughs> so i'm gonna go inside the folder bin 64 bit and uh, right come on right click my mouse is a little bit broken so <laughs> don't worry about that and create a desktop shortcut just like that name it if you want i'm gonna name it obs 5 because this is the fifth one and put it there and i right click properties and uh, yeah you will see something like this from here you need to press one space and uh, double dash or negative minus whatever you say and type here portable don't worry i will uh, also write these commands in the description you can copy and paste from there and when you type that apply okay and let's launch all of our obs studios actually so let me just launch fifth one so you can see this is the fifth one and this is my second one this is my first one let's just launch all of them actually <laughs> so okay i'm i'm getting out of space but it's okay uh we need we're gonna launch fourth this is the fourth one this is the obs game um obs game is already ru running actually okay I'm, okay <laughs> i'm getting so confused one two three four five yeah we are running all the obs studios and uh, i'm getting out of space but you got the idea i hope you understood the tutorial if you still don't understand then you always do the comment and i will try to help you out but i'm sure that you already understand so uh, let me minimize these and let me close these why not because i'm getting out of space <laughs> so this is very very useful i don't need obs 4 and 5 actually so i'm just gonna delete them so this is very useful for doing a different stuff so 
um, you know, I can I can have a separate OBS studio for game only. I can do the game settings like all the settings will be different for the game live streaming and all that. I can have the only webcam capture OBS studio and I can do the settings, you know, different settings for the webcam capture only. And I can have the uh, desktop capture one different setting and different OBS and they don't relate to each other. If you do some settings in one OBS studio, it won't affect the other one because they are just separate because they have their own folder. So only thing you need to do here is just put the command dash dash portable in shortcut and it will just open its own instance. So uh, let me give you an example here. If you don't, um, I'm making this video very long. I don't know why, no reason. But if you don't put the command, okay, I made a shortcut. If you don't put the portable command, then it will say something like this. I'm going to do that and it will say that OBS is already running and yeah, so you don't want that to happen. That's why you need to put the command dash dash portable. And uh, I hope this will be very useful. You know, sometimes we need multiple um, recording softwares. so just use OBS like you can create unlimited amounts of OBS studios instances and you don't need any other uh, software to record the things that you need to record so that's it hope you enjoyed it I will put link in the description for the OBS studio website you can go there download it and have fun and uh, actually I'm gonna do a tutorial on my gaming channel it will be related to AFK Fishing Farm and I have been playing some Minecraft lately so it's fun. So if you want to join me then I will put link in the description for my gaming channel too. So we'll have fun, some fun there. Just see you there. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.